I'm tired of these goddamn like this if you're a 90s kid pictures on Facebook, so I'm gonna make a goddamn video about it. Recess, when they cut old Rusty down and put up new Rusty. What the f*** ah. is that? Keep old Rusty. Boy, well, you just ruined Rusty in general. How Fillmore never took off his glasses. I'm pretty sure he didn't have eyes. Like the sides of his glasses, really thick. He's pretty much wearing like Coke cans on his face. <laughs> Disco. He was blind as a f***ing <laughs> Batman. Good luck, Charlie. Charlie is now like, what, five years old? You can only be cute from the eight months to the two-year-old age. You can actually start talking, you're not as cute anymore, so... They need to switch that whole idea up on that show, otherwise it's going nowhere. The same with Marty from Life with Derek. You were cute when you were little, but you're growing up now, and you just need to stop trying to be cute. But the sister could catch the D. Topanga, I hit that. Hey Arnold, Arnold and Gerald, they're like polar opposites. One's white, one's black. One has a super wide ass head, and one is a friggin' long head with a giant throat. Did no one even check to see if Hey Arnold had a disease or like a giant tumor in his head because that kid was ah. totally spies? All three of them could catch it. Johnny Bravo was just two Ds for his own good. Did no one check if he was on steroids or anything? The Punisher from Uh Oh just put random goo on kids. Some of the shit that Punisher said must have been illegal. Punisher. This shit came from my grandma's cunt. Punisher. I regret everything. The Punisher. I'm a third degree burn victim. He's Punisher. I have lung cancer. <laughs> oh, f*** ah! you. It's Punisher. Somebody please end my life. Radio Free Roscoe. That was actually not even a very good show. Yeah. Travis, the blonde guy, he literally had no emotion when he spoke ever. I don't know. Ever. It was Corbin Blue. It wasn't Corbin Blue. It wasn't. It wasn't. That's high school musical. Okay? You tell me if this is Corbin Blue. They all look the same. That was an extremely racist comment. That's hey. like saying the guy from Holes is the same guy. All I really remembered was the hair. How Josh got skinny. Drake and Josh? Yeah. Oh my god. That was like watching a diet show, essentially. <laughs> Dragon Ball Z. Now, is Frieza a guy or a girl? Why did it take seven episodes to do one Kamehameha every goddamn time? Kim Possible. It was like a guilty pleasure show. The fact that the Kim the Possible's tits they can poke holes in the like, still would get For sure. For sure. Except the fact she's a cartoon character, probably, yeah. yeah. Ah! She's not a really cartoon character. Another, another thing, have you ever actually seen a naked mole rat? Those things are disgusting. Rufus looks cute as shit. No, man, I want a naked mole rat. No, I don't. They're hideous. Zoe 101. Why did I have to wait till the very last episode for Chase to kiss Zoe? I wanted to see that right away. I used to think Logan was Jack. Man, this kid's a pussy when I. Why is it that you have to have a certain hairstyle in every goddamn show to become the hot guy, like Ethan Kraft, Ned's Declassified School Survivor Guy, the guy who only spins the basketball around on his hand 24-7. <laughs> He's never not spinning the basketball on his finger. There's also the even hotter guy who is always surrounded by girls, so you never see his face. <laughs> He'd like walk with the girls and like shuffle along. Right. Bill Nye the science guy? Too sick. Scooby-Doo, how, how the bad guys never did anything to Scooby, Shaggy, and the gang after they found out that they snitched them out. What <laughs> for you meddling kids? kids? I would be going to jail for my whole life. I don't remember them ever doing anything all that bad. Like, these villains were just minor nuisances. <laughs> this guy is running around kicking our pumpkins here and there. Like, can you stop them? <laughs> sure, we'll stop this minor nuisance. Never had they committed a crime. Maybe I'm just not remembering the show right. Shaggy was so big every <laughs> Every guy that <laughs> fucking dog food and thought his dog could talk. Ruh bro. If the dog could legitimately talk, why didn't they send him to like a lab or something for experimentation? <laughs> Kept him around solving <laughs> fucking mysteries. <laughs> like, you can make big money off that. Monster by mistake <laughs> has to be one of the <laughs> shittiest shows in the world. Gorgul. Oh my god, Billy Castleman. <laughs> Do something mean to like the bully, like put him in a dumpster and then as the monster drop a rock on it so he can't get out. What <laughs> a dick bag. No, no. Here's what I can say about Nanoland. People that did the puppets in the show were absolute rubbish. See at least two or three arms holding up a stupid puppet every episode. Curry, curry, curry in the house. Yeah! It's a party every week, baby! When was there a party on your show? Why does Mina have a, such a shitty Bahavian accent? Wizards of War. Wizards of Waverly Place. Oh, Selena ran. I watch it just for Selena. Lazy Town. Can someone tell me why every time Stephanie was in dire need, Sporticus had to do at least 
50 backflips, 35 push-ups, just to save her. We get it, you can do backflips. Show them off at another time. Gymnastics is something you think is fake. All I can say about Even Stevens is, this is what Beans looks like right now. How Maggie and the Ferocious Beast never moved 100 yard radius that it was in, except for one episode where they went across the river. Great googly mooglies. How you could never understand anything in Pengu. The whole show was meh, meh. Great, glad I can understand you, Pengu. How old were we at the time? Great, now you're gonna clip together and make it look like I'm a super giant racist.